everybody, this is Miss Dow, and I hope that you are all having a wonderful day so far. So, what we're going to read about today is how to grow sweet potatoes. Um, and for this lesson, you're going to need a pencil and a paper so that you can take the jots with us as we go. We're going to start by previewing our title and our subtitles. So like, as we said, it is how to grow sweet potatoes. The subtitles are sweet eats, materials, step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way till step 10, and then our did you know section. So this is actually a how-to text. And a how-to text, what it does is you can tell by all these steps, it gives you step-by-step -step directions on um, how to make or how to do something. So on this one, um, we're gonna be, like we said, learning how to grow sweet potatoes. And so it tells you the materials that you're gonna need, just like how at the beginning of our lesson, I told you you're gonna need a pen and a paper. And then it gives you the steps and a picture go with these steps. So as we've, as we've been doing, um, I'm gonna zoom in on each portion of the text and I want you to read that text out loud. Pause the video, read the text out loud. That is one of the best ways is that you're gonna become a better reader is by reading it out loud by yourself. So. Go ahead and pause on each section until you're done reading and then go to the next section. Okay, this is section one. Go ahead and pause your video. All right, in section two, go ahead and pause the video and read out loud. Section three. Last section. So we're gonna start with our first section, which gives us a little bit of background information about sweet potatoes. So how to grow sweet potatoes, sweet eats. Sweet and creamy sweet potatoes are delicious. They are also very healthful. They have lots of vitamins and minerals. Did you know that you can grow your own sweet potatoes? It is very easy. Let's find out how. Materials, one organic sweet potato, two clear cups and one disposable cup. Scissors, eight toothpicks, water, a large flower pot and potting soil or a summer garden bed. So, I want you to go ahead and write down, like we've been practicing, your jot for this section. So we're gonna do jot one, and I want you to pause the video and write down what you think our jot should be, which is, should be just a couple of words, and the most important information from this section. Think about what is the most important information from this section. And I think the most important thing to take away is why you would want to even grow sweet potatoes. Like why sweet potatoes and not broccoli or some other vegetable? Well, it says that they are delicious and healthful. So I'm going to say SP for sweet potatoes, so I don't have to write as much and my hand doesn't get as tired, are um, tasty, and I'm going to use this word because it's shorter than delicious, and healthy. Right, so that gives you the background of why you might want to grow sweet potatoes. And just a little side note, I know a lot of families are growing things at home right now. Um, so this is something that you could actually potentially do at home if you talk to your parents and they say that that's something that they want to help you out with. All right, so let's go ahead and keep reading. All right, so step one, sweet potatoes come in many colors, orange, purple, white, and even red. Choose the color you want. Then look for a medium potato with firm skin and no soft spots. Organic sweet potatoes are best. Some non-organic sweet potatoes are treated so that they cannot sprout. So first of all, I want you to think about, before we do a jot, why are organic sweet potatoes the best? Why does the author say that? Yeah, so they say in the following sentence that some non-organic, which means the ones that aren't, are treated so that they cannot sprout. Now sprout is what um, it means when a plant starts to grow. It's a little tiny bit of plant that grows. And so if they can't sprout, why would it not be a potato you wouldn't want to use? Yeah, you wouldn't want to use it because the whole point is that we're trying to pick a potato that's gonna grow really well. All right, so step, oh, so before we do our jots, our jots for the rest of this, our steps, 
are going to be a little bit different because there's a lot of important information that you need when you're doing a step-by-step -step process. So the way we kind of want to think about these jots are if you're trying to convince your parents to let you do this um, and to let you do this project, you're not going to list every single thing that you, you need to do. Like if they say, okay, well, what do I need to be able to do? What are you going to need to do to grow the sweet potato? You're not going to list every single thing. You're going to kind of give the most important things. So that's what we, and even though it's not going to be all the details and that's not going to be what you need to actually grow it, it's almost like as if you're trying to convince somebody else what it's going to take to grow it. So you just need to get the, the main details and then you would have this to go back to for the more specific instructions. So we're going to go ahead and keep reading this section. So um, step two, gently rinse your sweet potato. Do not rub it. Look for small dents in the potato. That's where it will sprout. Step three, ask an adult to help you cut your sweet potato in half. Push one of the toothpicks into the middle of one of the halves. Push another toothpick into the opposite side. Repeat until you have four toothpicks in each half of the potato. All right, so what I want you to do is think about um, what shots we're gonna need for this. And you don't need three for each one, but think about the most important pieces of information that we've learned and write those down on your jots. Pause the video, write them down, and then press play again when you're done and we will discuss. The first thing that I'm gonna be thinking about is most important is gonna be what kind of sweet potato I need, right? Because I actually have sweet potatoes in my kitchen right now. Um, so if I was like, oh, let me go ahead and get started, I have the sweet potatoes, it might not even work because I don't think that they're organic. So you would need to remember that um, you you should really be using an organic sweet potato. So that's gonna, I'm gonna put that as my second job. Jot two. Organic, oops, misspelled that. Organic sweet potato, okay? And then there's actually one more jot that I'm thinking is going to be important. So you can pause it again if you only did one jot um, and think about what is one more jot that's maybe going to be important. So I'm not actually going to put anything from step two because these are kind of smaller details that are more important for when you're actually doing the process, but it's not something that I would need to tell somebody about if I was telling them about this. So what I think is actually more important is knowing that you need to cut it in half and that you need to put the toothpicks in. So to make it short, I'm going to say jot three, half, right? And when we spell half like this, half, that's the verb, so that's the actual act of cutting it in half. Half SP, put in toothpicks. And remember, SP is what we're saying for sweet potatoes, so that we don't have to write that every time. Half SP, put in toothpicks. Right, because that's a pretty important step, and that's something that if you're telling somebody about, it's an important one that you would want to remember. All right, so let's go ahead and keep reading. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep reading. Step four, set the sweet potato halves in the cups. Let the toothpicks rest on the cup rims. Part of the potato will be inside the cup. The other part will stick out of the top. Fill the cups with water. Step five, put the cups in a sunny indoor spot. Soon your sweet potato will begin to sprout. It may also grow roots. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here because we learned a couple things of important information. So go ahead and pause your video. Think about what our job might be for steps four and five. So now that you've written your job, let's go back over and see how it kind of compares to mine. Again, they don't have to be exactly the same, but they should have the same basic information. So I'm noticing that it's really important that we are putting this sweet potato in a cup with water. So I think that's really the most important part. The details of how far in it needs to go or where to put it are not quite as important. So we're going to say job four. SP for sweet potato in cup with water. Okay, 
And I'm actually going to say by the sun because we've learned in our class that plants need the sun to grow. And cut with water by sun. So this is kind of a longer jot uh, than we would normally want to do. But for this case, I think it makes the most sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep reading. Step six, when the sprouts are several inches long, carefully twist them off of the potato. Now the sprouts are called slips. One potato can produce as many as 50 slips. Your slips need to grow longer roots. Or step seven, sorry. Step seven, your slips need to grow longer roots. Make a water dish for them. Cut off the bottom of a disposable cup. Fill the dish with water and put the bottoms of the slips into the water. Okay, so we learned once again in step six and seven um, some more really pretty important information. So let's go ahead and pause. I want you to write what you think our jot should be and then we'll go over it together. Okay, so I think the most important information for this is going to be that you know they're cutting the slips or the sprouts um, and they're putting it into a new cup of water and I'm going to start referring to them as slips because we know that we can always go back to this section if we're confused about what a slip is um, it gives us a nice little picture to go with it okay so we're going to say that um, we have to cut the slips and move them to a new cup of water so we're to make that much shorter we're going to say jot five Cut slips, new cup. So you don't need the details, this is just kind of a jogger memory. All right, now let's go ahead and finish these last couple steps. Step eight, wait until your slips grow one inch roots. Fill a container with potting soil or prepare a summer garden bed. Sweet potatoes need 10 inches or more of loose soil. Plant your slips in the soil. Cover the roots and pat the soil so that the slips stand up straight. Step 10. Make sure your plants get lots of sunshine and water. After the leaves turn yellow, the potatoes are ready to harvest. You will find the sweet potatoes under the ground. They are the roots of the plant. Dig them up and keep them in a warm spot for 10 days. Then they will be ready to eat. So from these sections, what do we think is the most important information? Go ahead and write it down in your own jots, and then we'll come back together and discuss. Pause your video to write down your jots. Okay, so our most important information was really about making sure, so right now we're not in a cup of water anymore. We need to put it into the soil, wait for it to grow, and then we can harvest our sweet potato. And there's lots of other details in there as well, but if you're just trying to give a really quick snap version to somebody, you would want to make sure that you mention that it needs to go into the soil and that you need to wait to harvest it. So we're gonna say jot six, plant slip, wait, then harvest. So you would plant your slip in the soil, wait, give it enough time until those leaves turn yellow, and then harvest it, right? Because this is just used to jog our memory. Okay, and then let's read our last section, which is our did you know. Did you know? The sweet potato is the, in the same family as the morning glory. Sweet potato flowers look like morning glories. Morning glories come in many colors, but they do not grow sweet potato roots. So, now that we finished our reading, I want you to write your big idea. And your big idea is just if you needed to give two sentences to somebody about what we've learned so far from this how-to guide. So um, go ahead and pause the video. You can use your dress to help you out and write your big idea. All right, so for our big idea, we want to condense it and which means make it a lot shorter and combine the information. So we don't really have room to write all of our steps. Just like how we shortened our jots, we don't really have room to write all of our steps into our big idea. And those aren't really the big idea either. And they don't, um, and since we don't have room to write all of them, 
we've already condensed the steps into what we think are kind of the most important. Um, and then from there, all of these are pretty important. So we wouldn't really want to pick some over the others. So we actually want our big idea to be um, more about an overview of what we've learned from this article. So we've learned one thing is that they are tasty and healthy. And that's pretty important because if you're going to convince somebody to grow a sweet potato, or if you're going to think about growing a sweet potato, it's important to know why. And we know that they're good to grow because they are tasty and healthy. So for a big idea, sweet, and for the big idea, I'm actually going to write out sweet potato. Sweet potatoes are tasty and healthy. And then all of these steps are teaching you how to do what? Yeah, grow a sweet potato, but not just grow one, grow one at home, right? A lot. You could do this all in your kitchen, because um, you can even, like they're saying, sweet potato, you don't have to plant it outside, you can plant it in a pot. Um, so this is something that you can do at home, even if you don't have very much space. So that's kind of the other most important information. All these steps tell you how to do it at home, but ultimately they are telling you that you can grow them at home. So that's what I'm going to put as our next uh, sentence of the big idea. You can grow them at home. And I'm going to do an exclamation point because I think that's pretty exciting. So. As usual, um, your big idea doesn't have to match mine exactly, but it should be about the same length and have about the same information. So if you want to take a minute to edit your own big idea, that means go back and uh, erase the parts that you don't think are as important or add in new parts, you can pause the video and use this to help you out. Um, but if not, we're going to go ahead and go on to our writing section. So in our text, it tells us that sweet potatoes are easy to grow. See right here, it says you can grow your own sweet potatoes. It is very easy. So that's quite a big statement, right? Do you agree that it's going to be really easy to grow your own sweet potatoes or do you disagree? And so what we're going to do is you're going to say your opinion and then use a couple details to support your opinion. So it does not matter if you think it is easy or hard, um, but you're going to um, write your own about three to four sentences arguing if you think it is easy or not. And I'm going to get you started with an opener. So you could say, I think it would B, and then I'm going to leave a blank for you to fill in either easy or hard. Easy or hard. Remember, don't write both of these in the blank. Pick one to grow sweet potatoes because because and then from there, you need to use a couple of details from our article. So what I recommend for that is going back and re either rem using from your memory or going back and rewinding to the part where you are reading it out loud to yourself and then you can pick out some details. But go ahead and pause your video here until you are done writing and then we will go on to review together. So make sure that you are writing it by yourself first. So I now that you've written yours, I'm going to go ahead and write mine um, and show you how to do it. But because then it's, a, it's an opinion piece, you might have said it's completely different things, and that is okay. The important part is that you just use evidence from the text to support your answer. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I think it would be easy to grow sweet potatoes. And that's because I grew up... Um, with a garden in my parents' backyard. And so we spent a lot of time planting and growing things. And a lot of them were a lot harder than this sounds. I've never done a sweet potato before, but this seems a lot easier. So I'm gonna say one of the reasons that it's easier is because um, you can do most of it inside with your two cups, right? So you have it inside next to the windowsill. You don't have to be 
fertilizing the ground for a lot of it or doing all of this other work that a lot of times you need to do. So because um, they start growing inside in a cup. inside in a cup. All right, so that's one piece of evidence that I have. Um, the other one is that I'm going to use is that you don't need that many materials. Um, I know it might seem like a lot if you're not used to growing things, but just like two cups, some toothpicks, and some soil is a pretty easy thing to manage. So I'm going to say that you also don't need very many materials. Oh, wait, I'm going to say you also don't need very many materials. Um, and so then I'm going to end with a more general statement and say I could do this at home. Right, because um, I actually don't have space to grow a lot of other vegetables. But this I, I do have space for and I could do it at home. And I'm going to do an exclamation point because I think that is very exciting. So I have my opening statement where I say if I think it would be easy or hard. Then I have my two supporting details that I took from the text. And then I have wrap it up with a more general statement, which is I could do this at home. Um, so. Again, your writing does not have to, and it should not look exactly like mine, um, but you need to make sure that you have your opening statement, your two supporting details, at least two, and a more general statement to wrap it up. So that's all that we have for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope that some of you maybe try it out and grow some sweet potatoes at home. Thank you so much. Bye.